This is my Grizzly 7x12 Mini Metal Lathe, model G8688. And ever since I've had it, I've had problems with uh, it running true. I've got a dial indicator set on it now with a piece of round stock in there. And going by the dial indicator, it looks like it's about fluctuating about five thousandths. So I'm going to do some investigation to see if I need to uh, grind the jaws, see what's wrong with this thing. Now I've already taken the chuck off the uh, lathe, took it apart, cleaned it, and put the jaws back in. And uh, they were mar marked originally from the factory. Uh, one, two, and three on the jaw and inside the uh, uh, chuck. And uh, so I decided to try inserting them in different spots in rotation, of course, and it didn't seem to help it any. So I'm going to put a dial indicator on each the inside of each jaw to uh, see if there's any difference. And to do that, I made this little ring, just sliced a piece off of a piece of PVC pipe to put on here to put some tension on the jaws. We'll set the dial indicator in here. Looks like we're on zero right there. So we're on zero right on the inside edge of that uh, that jaw. If I move either way, it comes off of the zero. All right, now if we move to another jaw, we're on zero there. Move to the next one. And that one's like four and a half thousandths off. Move to the third one. That one's off about two thousandths. Go back to the first one again. I'm off a thousandth the other way, so this thing must have got tapped a little bit. It's a cheap dial indicator. So there's the first one. There's the second one, about four and a half thousandths. And there's the third one, about three thousandths. So I'm thinking I definitely need to uh, grind the jaws, inside of the jaws. So I've got to come up with a rig to do that. What I'm going to try to use for the grinding of the jaws is this uh, die grinder I got from Harbor Freight. I think I got it on sale with 20% off for like $10 or something. So that's what I'm planning on using. For mounting it, I think I want to mount it on the carriage here where the tool, pass, tool post sets. Drill a hole in here and put a bolt in to hold the this bracket on. I can move it in and out. This is just uh, some small pieces of MDF glued together and then I'm going to bore a hole in the center for the die grinder to go in and maybe slot it on this side. Put a slit there and a couple of screws there to <coughs> tighten down on Excuse me. So let me get this cleaned up. Sides cleaned up a little bit and we'll bore the hole in it.
that drill bit was an inch and a half Forstner bit, which is just a hair too tight for the uh, die grinder to go in. I think I measured it, and it's just a hair under one and nine sixteenths. So I'm gonna try to use the spindle sander here to open that hole up a little bit. See if we can get a, a snug fit where it'll slide in there. Just a hair loose, but by the time we put a slot in there and put two screws in there to clamp it down, it should be okay. After putting the slot in there and trying to push it down, it the NBF cracked on me right here. So what I'm going to do is drill two holes here and put two uh, two little number six wood screws in there, just to keep that from breaking apart there. I decided to use a bolt and a wing nut instead of a couple of screws to tighten down on the grinder in the holder. So I'm going to counterbore the bottom here and maybe chisel out and epoxy this bolt in here. And then we can use the wing nut on the top side to uh, tighten down.
I think that's going to work pretty good. I just need to get a smaller diameter grinding stone so that it will go up in the center hole there so I can grind all the uh, all the jaw. Well that might not work either because uh, of the jaw back in here. Unless I make a smaller ring and bring those jaws in a little bit. I'd have to bring the jaws into there that close in order to go the full length of the jaw. Probably about right there. Probably about a half inch diameter would be all I could fit in there. So if I could find a uh, grinding stone, a half inch diameter or slightly under would be perfect. <laughs> 